。我。Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I will be completely ruining my chances of ever getting my channel sponsored by G2A. Yay! But seriously, there is a large problem with online key stores at the moment. And though most of the issues that I'm bringing up in this video aren't really the individual site's faults, there definitely could be some preventative measures put in place to help solve these problems. So without further ado, let's start making my channel an advertiser's nightmare. So if you didn't know, game key sites are basically websites where you can purchase new and old games for prices that are very similar to that of Steam sales. And they aren't just limited to game keys either. You can find copies of Windows, Photoshop and professional video editing keys on these sites as well. And usually for prices that are far cheaper than what the developer intends it to be sold for. So what's the problem? More games for less money, sign me up. But think about this for a second. How is a site supposed to make any money if it is buying game and software keys for more and selling them for less? That just sounds like bad business. And it should be. And yet sites like G2A and Kingyuin have built up a thriving business around this very trade. So obviously they are making a profit. Now before I say anything else, I think that you first need to know how these sites are run. In a way, it is similar to the way sites like eBay and Amazon are run. Instead of distributing solely their own products, they instead give the distribution rights to third parties who can trade their products freely, as long as the third party gives a portion of their revenue to the website. The problem, however, lies within the third parties. Many of the keys that they are trading are either stolen using random key generators or through credit card fraud, which means that it can be backcharged, essentially giving the developers no money. This makes sites like these into real grey areas, not all keys sold on there are stolen, but it is nearly impossible to know which ones are safe without doing some research. This shady trading of keys is just as damaging to the video game market as piracy. In fact, even more so. One developer by the name of Lars Duche, I hope that I said the name right, who was the lead developer on the game Defender's Quest, once said that he would much rather if you just pirated his game than buy it on a key reseller site like G2A. At least with piracy, no money goes to the thief. But not only can it be damaging to the video game market, but it can also personally affect you. Back in February of 2015, Ubisoft revoked the game keys from many Uplay members' accounts. When questioned on why they did this, Ubisoft told interviewers that the initial purchase was illegal and the game codes were therefore deemed invalid. Only those people that had bought keys that were obtained through theft lost their games. Imagine if you bought No Man's Sky. I know, not a very realistic scenario, but hear me out. Imagine if you bought No Man's Sky off of G2A and then redeemed it. But after a few days, you logged onto your Steam library to find that it was completely gone and that none of the money that you had spent on the game was refunded to you. Now you are down $40 or whatever it cost and have no game to show for it. And yet the thief gets off scot-free, able to trade even more keys and make even more money with no negative repercussions. And that isn't even where the consumer hurt ends. Another reason that Duche gave for why you should just pirate a game rather than buy it off key sites is because you could easily be labelled as a thief under law. Duche told interviewers that, while piracy is copyright infringement, buying stolen games on G2A is straight up illegal theft. Not only could you lose money through these key sites, but you can easily be arrested and charged with theft as well. Now you know how big this issue really is, you can understand the importance of trying to resolve it. We need to stand together as consumers and cripple these companies, force them to make their regulations stricter, to filter out those keys that are illegal, and make these sites hubs for people who want to trade games that they purchased legally. Not only for the good of the developers, but for the good of those people who have been fooled into purchasing keys from these sites, like I was a few months back. I actually obtained the game you are seeing me play right now, Princess Loot Pixel Again, which is a very good game, from G2A, before I even knew about the shady backstory of this website. So spread the news, and remember, if we band together, there is nothing we cannot change for the better. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and have a good one. 